this used to be in my truck. It was 60 inches long and it was part of my bed system and I just had an idea. I'm gonna just shorten the frame and give this an experiment. <laughs> we'll see. Turning it over sideways, you can see that I had braced underneath. So I'm taking this apart and I'm just gonna redo it. Here it is cut down. We're gonna find out if it fits in the car. This is what I'm using to seal this because I'm going to use it not only as a bed platform, but also as a uh, chair. It's been sitting outside for about two years since my truck died. It's been cut down and I did a test fit. It is now sealed. It's going to double as not only a table, but it also can be used as a bed platform. It is 24 inches wide. It's four feet, but once you put the seat next to it, it brings you up to almost six. I'm gonna revisit the bed in the car um, issue that I've had because the last platform I had weighed about 65 pounds and it went from behind the seat all the way to the back, which meant I couldn't have the seat in seat position. And that was kind of important to me for storage. And after the last camping, uh, I did sleep transverse across the back floor. with the seat in seat position. However, um, when I came home, I said, ah, I really want to have something that can be a bed or a table or a seat. So I can take this out and make it a seat and sit at the park <laughs> and just watch the water. This is giving me a table if I want to play cards. It also gives me a work surface so that I can put my laptop out, my power supply, whatever else I want. I can sit very comfortably in here. I'm going to show you how to make it into a bed. It also gives me storage up underneath for my cook stove, my clothing, anything that I want to put under there, the bag of dog food that needs to stay away from the dog. <laughs> As you can see, there's ample room on the floor to be able to have anything that I want to bring there, but also for the comfort of my dog. And um, here's my only issue, the angle. I want it to still be able to use it as a seat. So I still have a seat to sit on. I have a footrest. I also have the ability to use this as a table if I want to eat in the car. I've been known to eat in the car. So to address this angle for sleeping, I'm old enough I don't want to be sleeping on a piece of wood. <laughs> that would not work. So I have a one inch thick yoga mat. It cost I think twenty dollars. It doesn't slip. It stays right where it is. The worst thing I can think about is sleeping bags that are polyester that slide around on each other or whatever and this works great. Like I said, it's very dense foam, very comfortable. It's cushiony. It doesn't weigh anything. As I said before, the, the biggest problems I had were that the other thing <laughs> was this whole length all the way to the back of the car, which was eight feet long. It was a piece of three quarter inch plywood, very, very heavy. I could not easily get it in and out of the car. This I can use as a bench. I can use it as a table. I can use it as a bed. Small enough that I can take it out if I want to sleep in a tent, which I don't want to sleep in a tent, but if I needed to, it gives me a table in the tent. <laughs> um, yeah, so this works out really well for me. So let me show you the back. I carry a ton of blankets. I don't really see how deep this is, but it's a pretty deep well. And then I just store my car tools, my CB radio, extra lights, the antenna for my radio, 
This gives me storage for all my cooking stuff, for my portable refrigerator freezer. Something I wanted to mention is um, on the back window, I have a dash cam. It's not plugged in all the time. Sometimes it's good to know what's happening behind you. I do have a dash cam in the front as well. That one's always on. Everybody's car has control for their lights. <laughs> when you're sleeping with the hatch open, shut it off. Shut it off. And shut it off. Don't forget to um, turn the Mac on before you drive. But it conserves your battery. I do want to address one other thing. And that is, why do I keep a crate in my car? When I'm sleeping at night, the dog is usually not in the crate. Though he can be. Depends on if it's wet out. The worst thing I can think of is getting in a car accident and not having my pet safely in a crate. This crate is tied down in the back. It's also bolted down and um, I made sure that he's safe. And he's also got a little water bowl. He's got a dog bone. And when we're on the road, I usually put a blanket inside for him. I can also put a fan on the floor here. And that gives him extra air. So I hope you enjoyed this short video on my new old non-build bed table seat thing. <laughs>